Let's begin by looking at the script prompt. You can run individual commands or call script files directly by entering them into the script prompt. The prompt is also where all output and error messages appear. When you're developing a lengthy script or want to save a series of commands for future use, it's a good idea to save the commands into a script file. This is most easily done using the integrated script file editor. You can press the Run Script button to run the script file, or press F9 on the keyboard to run the selected section only. You can run any script file simply by typing the name of the file without the .lsf extension into the script prompt. Script files can also be called from other script files simply by including the name of the script as a command in the other script file. For example, if you create the file myscript.lsf, you can run this file from the script prompt by entering myscript. There are other places where script can be entered. If you look at the model, which is the parent object for all the rest of the simulation objects, you can see that there are tabs for a setup script and analysis script. You can define the parameters in the variables tab and use the setup and analysis script tabs to set up the simulation objects in the object tree and analyze the simulation results once it's run. Similarly, scripts are also used in the structure and analysis groups as we'll see next. There are three types of group objects, container, structure, and analysis. The container group is simply used for grouping objects together for organizational purposes and therefore does not have any option for scripting. The structure and analysis groups, on the other hand, allow you to use scripting inside of them. Analysis groups have both setup and analysis script tabs, like the parent object model. Structure groups are simpler since they are not used for analysis and thus they only have a setup script tab. By making good use of scripts in the various ways just mentioned, you can set up your simulations efficiently and do advanced analysis of your simulation results. When you're considering scripts for your simulation, it's always a good idea to check the object library first. It contains many frequently used structures and analysis tools, which you can insert in your object tree for immediate use. If you need a more complicated structure or advanced analysis that's not included in the object library, it might still be worth using the available examples and modifying them instead of writing the script from scratch.